So this is courtesy of Hype Beast. As I mentioned earlier on my podcast, these um Tiger and Mischief wavy baby sneakers that dropped recently um have unfortunately looks like had a cease and desist being put out to them via vans. I guess cease and desist or maybe they're just suing mischief out in general. Because like I mentioned previously in my clip of the show for the podcast, <clears throat> I don't feel like these are a real deviation from Vans old school at all. They basically look like a Vans old school, but they basically warp them. There is no real difference to what Vans do in terms of how these look. Not discernibly enough anyway, I don't think. So it's no surprise that they're saying allegedly that Vans are suing them. So let's read the article. It says as follows. Today, Vans has filed a lawsuit against Mischief for its wavy baby sneaker that closely resembles a Vans old school silhouette. Mischief's new shoe in collaboration with Tiger made its debut last week, catching the eyes of many due to its clear nod to the Vans' most signature shoes. <clears throat> Sorry. Although the wavy baby sneaker remixes a shoe with thick wave life platform sole, um, whose design reverberates through the other sole, paneling, construction, and colorway still mirror Vans' work. This whole idea about remix, that's not a remix, bruv. You're just taking an already existing shoe and making it warped. Like, do something original with the shoe. Remix, you know. The lawsuit claims a trademark infringement, um, a false designation of the origin, and unfair competition in addition to a trademark dilution. Um, dil dilution, sorry. The number of violations extends to mischiefs copying of Vans trademarks with the shoe designs, advertising, and packaging. Definitely, because I showed you the packaging, everything. It looks like a van. They didn't even try to make it um, different than what a van's like. If, if you, again, if, if you put that on a shelf at a flipping office or a size, regular folk would just think it's a limited edition van, like a collab of some sort. They wouldn't think it's an entirely different shoe brand. <clears throat> it says as follows. Mischief in collaboration with Mr. Stevenson has shamelessly marked <laughs> marketed the wavy baby shoe in a direct effort to confuse consumers, unlawfully siphon sales from vans, and unintentionally damage vans' valuable intellectual property rights. The lawsuit claims the wavy baby shoe blatantly and unmistakably incorporate vans' iconic trademarks in tra trade dress. This is exactly the same thing that's happening with flipping John Geiger, isn't it? But John Geiger's sitting here legitimately shouting at everybody and arguing that he basically has a right to copy, you know, the most popular shoe design in history and quote unquote make it his own by doing a little squig on the side. But again, regular people, you put that shoe up in size in office, in flipping SNS, most regular people wouldn't know that's not Nike. They'll just assume it is a Nike, but it's just a collaboration. So if it already looks too much like a Nike shoe, you probably should just make your own shoe from the ground up. And I, get, I don't get these people. If you've got all this manufacturing abilities and abilities to basically produce and make these shoes to that sort of level of finish and it look pretty decent in the hand and on the foot in terms of construction, why not just make an original shoe? Why waste your time just basically reverse engineering a shoe that already exists with the lawsuit, all that nonsense you have to go through in terms of paying money all that whatever it is just to have a shoe that looks like something already is out there that already exists what it basically proves to me is that most of these people don't really have any real level of creativity they're not really pushing the envelope they just want to be kind of safe because these are as much as they are a bit outlandish looking they are ridiculously safe because they do still look like a regular vans it's not like they're going out there making a really crazy out there shape that really changes people's perception of what a shoe is meant to look like no there's just a standard vans has been run through the warp setting somewhere right in fucking photoshop it just i don't know i'm just not i'm not jacking it i'm not feeling it whatsoever but of course i'm the exception here because according to rider rips who may or may not be the person responsible for designing this monstrosity they allegedly sold out in 10 minutes that's what he's saying now this could be cap this could be a way of them kind of deflecting the flipping pending lawsuit and wanting to basically rid themselves of the shoes before they have to face the music in court. I don't really know. But I'm also not surprised because if anything I've learned over the last few years, especially when it comes to ugly sneakers, this ugly sneaker trend, especially for people who wear them kind of to be ironic and whatnot, it's mostly for people I feel like who don't have any personality. If you're lacking personality and you kind of... Um, you kind of uh you kind of add personality via vis-a-vis -vis the clothes you wear the shoes you wear the music you listen to the places you go to one of the cheat ways to immediately get some form of personality is to wear loud shit to wear crazy hats um to put on crazy shoes to have crazy jeans holes everywhere patches all this shit 
because it immediately makes you look like somebody who's interesting somebody's worth talking to that you've got a crater burn in your body that you're into cool interesting things that you've been to cool interesting places and blah 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 when really you're not you're a bit dense there's nothing really about you interesting at all apart from the crazy shoes that you decided to legitimately wear and go out and about in and yeah i wouldn't be caught dead in these things like they're just terrible but of course i'm the exception because there's this video courtesy of who is celebrity vice or some kids on a train wearing the wavy babies on a somewhat wavy skateboard basically feeling like they're the coolest guys in the world one of them is eating a pack of crisps I'm surprised they're not flaming hot cheetos to kind of tap into the cringy marketing going on online of course he's wearing some sort of fluorescent yellow stupid do-rag a flame bomber jacket hoodie thing it's just like come that's the type of person you're competing with a person who wears leather pants with those horrendous vans a flame varsity jacket and is eating a big pack of family size lays on the train on the way to work somewhere that's who you're basically aligning yourself with by wearing these monstrosities absolutely terrible shoes disgustingly awful i hate everything about them I literally hate everything about them and i hope van susan they win <laughs> fuck off